In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use multiple video textures in one level in Unreal. So the first thing we're going to do is import some videos. So we'll just go to import and just select these three videos and just hit open. So I've used MP4 format, that seems to work pretty well in Unreal. Um, so with those three imported, I'm going to right click and go to media, media player. We're basically going to create a media player for each one of um, these videos. So video output must be ticked on, and then we'll call this media player one. And then we'll go media, media player. Again, tick on video output, and call this media player two. And then last one, media, media player. Tick on video output, media. So if we just click on our first one, what we're going to do is load our video, like so. And I'm just going to, you'll see how it's added that to the list here. The other thing I'm going to do is just tick on loop. So now when we hit play, that video will loop. I'm just going to hit save on this playlist. And I'm just going to save over playlist one. These are, these are ones I made earlier, by the way, so hence why they're here. And then we'll close that down. So we're going to Media Player 2, and we'll double click on 2 to add that up in our list. We'll tick on Loop, and we'll just hit Save, and call this Playlist 2. And then we'll just hit Save there, and Close. And then on our last one, same thing, we'll just go for video number 3. We'll tick on Loop, we'll hit Save, and call that Playlist 3. And we'll just hit Save. So the playlist is useful because you could um, queue up multiple videos depending on what you want to um, do here. So at the moment I'm only using one video for one, so we could get away with not using the playlist, but I just wanted to show you that that's something you can do, so you can have multiple videos. So we have one, two, three, we can see them there. So the next thing we want to do is just add a plane into our, into our scene. And we're just going to clone that a couple of times. I'm also going to stick my start position back here. Then what we're going to do is just drag, um, sorry, drag the video onto there. Now the reason we're doing that now is because that will create a, a material for us that can then will then automatically be assigned to that plane. So we'll do the same with that one, and we'll do the same with that one. And you just have a look um, inside one of the materials. You'll see that in the base color it has our texture applied. Now you do have the option here as well of plugging that into emissive um, for each one and that will make it behave more like a kind of glowing screen in that way. Okay so the next thing we need to do is just set up a little bit of blueprint here. So if we just go to blueprint we'll open our level blueprint and um, what we need to do here is basically create three variables, one for each of our um, videos. So I'm going to call this media ref one and hit enter. And I'm going to come over to the variable type tab and in my search I'm going to type media player and I'm going to go to object reference. If I just hit compile you'll see it now gives me a media ref here. So what I'm going to do is drag media player one into that one. I'm then going to add another variable and it will automatically pick up that you had um, Uh, media player on the last one. So all you need to do is hit compile and you can drag in media player 2. Then we'll add one more. And again just hit compile and we'll drag our third one into there. So now what we can do is set for when the level loads to load in our three media references. So let's just drag each of these into here. We'll go to get media ref. I'm going to drag off here and I'm going to search for open source. Drag off here and search for open source. And drag off here and search for open source. Then I'm going to go to my event begin play and I'm going to drag that onto there. I'm going to drag that to there and I'm going to drag back to there. So it's saying that when you wait from the level, load media ref one and use number one. 
this one use two, and this one use three. Like so. So that should be it for that. If we just hit compile and hit save, it's going to ask us to save a, on a level. So I'm just going to save a level like that. Then I'm going to close that down. And with any luck, if we hit play, we should see our videos play in the viewport. Um, so, yeah, so the only other thing to do is on our other materials, just make sure that they're all linked to emissive. Um, so it behaves more like a um, more like a screen. Okay, so that's it. That's how you um, set up um, video textures, um, so you can have more than one playing in the viewport.